What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to another fight card of this fight night 17. I am your commissioner, your fearless leader, West Coast 22. I appreciate you being here. We got two debuts tonight. We got thir uh, 12 fights and two title fights. The welter and the feather will be defended tonight. Guys, we just got another person in the universe. We're down to set seven or eight spots left, and that is it for now. We're trying to fill the flyweight. Do not miss your chance. Go to the website. Go to the Google form. They're both in the description, and come join the universe. I appreciate you watching. Enjoy the night of fights. Start us off tonight. We'll be in the heavyweight. We're going to lead off with the big, meaty men slapping each other around. Number two, Seth Nats fan. Number nine, show time. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Boom. One inch of height and reach for the American over Canada. Over Canada. No, Bruce. Don't want to. Hit me up, baby. <laughs> Hit me up, baby. Here we go. The first fight of the night. Should be a bang and fight, but it's all setting up for Saturday. WCFC 17, the pay per view. Or you don't want me your DMs, I'll make you turn to God. Or at least call out his name, right? Showtime on your right, Seth Nets fan on your left. Daniel Cormier, you, you talk too fucking much. You talk too fucking much. Seth Nets fan going, Nets fan going for his third straight win. Showtime trying to end a five fight losing streak. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good lord. Oh, and there's another leg kick for Ooh. good measure. So do Ooh. a really good job with that. Oh, big overhand right from Showtime. Didn't stun him, though. These are the heavyweights. They got chins like fucking iron. Don't worry. Set down with a good takedown. Yeah, you fucking better be. You bet you fucking better be right here, goon. They make me call you by your fucking real name. Good shot by Seth. I don't think that's Sun Showtime either. You, you got in your pick'em, right? Yeah. You got me. No, you're full me. Social Security number and all. I was just giving away Tony Bob Hunting that game was at seven. Gates open to five. People started. Oh, for sure. Because it, it was 40k, right? What's the capacity for the Do uh, for Dodger Stadium? Like, what's the sellout? Because they're giving it away to 40k, so. Oh shit. Okay. okay. For, 40 of 56 is still a good fucking percentage, though. But I wonder how many people are gonna try to game the system. Put one in their backpack, walk around to the side. Don't leave, but walk around to the side, pretend like they're walking back in. There's no way they can please. And you're not there, Rich. Some Dodgers fan. He isn't a Dodgers fan. He actually said he liked my hat, so he's gonna be a he's gonna be a fan of uh, the D box. It's the wrong D. He wants all the D. Hey, my stuff lagging like crazy. Oh, fucking. Fix that. I only stream 30 FPS too, so so it, it, it ain't 60. So no rain on my end. I would love to stream 60. There's just no point for me to do it right now. My Wi-Fi got you. Get off that Taco Bell internet, fake rich. <laughs> big, big uppercut right from Seth. Will stun Showtime as round one will come to an end. Pretty solid round. Pretty solid round. If you were here Tuesday, so many fights ended in the first round. So many fights ended in round two. It was a, let's just say the YouTube video was like an hour and 15 minutes. Crazy. All right, boys, time to head into the factory. You all have a good night and watch. Tim, you need to get a new job, man. You need to work days. You need to work days, bro. I think you need to find a new job. I'm just saying. Oh, you bums need to pipe down. Whoa, 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 newbie. Whoa. Fucking Astros. Dude, they're about to win 10 straight and just come out of nowhere. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, straight right from Showtime. 
Knocks down Seth. He jumps on for some ground to pound. Nats fan could be in trouble trying to cover up. He's able to do it, but I make an extra $2 an hour. Yeah, but on like $7. I mean, like 5 to 7 is is I, you know? You my brother but shut the fuck up. <laughs> Last name. <laughs> Last name ever. First name greatest. I'm like a sprained ankle boy. I ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> Nats fan. Oh, good. Just quoted Drake. <laughs> it's because he's Canadian, bro. Degrassi. You know what I mean? Just over three minutes to go now. Fucking Degrassi. Come on. I actually do mean oh, which other bum does that. <laughs> Stunned him. Showtime. Putting in work. I should do MMA. Uh, I swear we had someone else that did some MMA Best stuff. I'll bring you to get back in the wheelchair and find me. Oh, down goes Seth again. Showtime putting on a clinic here in round two. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team fucking here. Oh, another big one. Showtime is in complete control of round two. And Nats fan, his two-fight winning streak is in severe, severe jeopardy. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ. Oh, another right. He falls forward. How was that not a knockout? Showtime is in control. But Nats fans doing enough to stay alive. I'm old enough to be your daddy, bitch. <laughs> but he's able to reverse it. And now Nats fans on top, and he's going to try. Okay, I thought you were going to try his up. With what, dick? The one that's in your mouth? Under a minute now in round two. I'm at work, the fuck? I told you. I told you he was at work. <laughs> Fucking Max, dude. Losing to Todd last Saturday wasn't God's plan. It was, though. It was just my God, not your God. You know? You know what I'm saying? Nats fan trying to get back into this good sprawl there from Showtime. I don't believe Maxi isn't work. Maybe that's where he's working tonight. He said he's at work, but he's he's getting paid to walk straight right. Dude, how is Nats fan still fucking alive? He's been not... Oh, one second to go. One second to go. In round number two. Showtime does not want to go to a third. Right at the horn. Straight right to the chin of Nats fan. And Showtime's five fight losing streak is history. Bruce, let me hear you, Daddy, for the first time tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Showtime. Open. That's what red hair gets you. Yeah, I'm saying. Opens. Fight night 17 with a huge upset. The ninth ranked fighter beats the number two ranked fighter. Two fighters going in opposite directions. Not any more. Judge scorecards clearly with Showtime in round one. You look at round two, five knockdowns and one stun in five minutes. 18 significant strikes. Just dominated round two. After winning round one, but it was a little less dominant. Then came in round two, took over, and did not want to go to a round three. Showtime with a big win. Possibly gets himself off the bottom of the rankings and finally gets some momentum. Moving on to the light heavyweight division. For fight number two of the night, it'll be the former champion, the former pound for pound number one in the world. Peter Griffin lost his title a few weeks ago. He will try to take it out on fairly newcomer Joey Smoke, who is going for his third straight win and potentially a light heavyweight championship opportunity. And now our What's up, Virgo? Get fucked, Richie. 
Austin. I say Austin. Fuck. Two inches for Joey. Two inches for Joey. The 11 and 1. Peter Griffin on the left. The submission machine. Joey Smoke. Two straight wins, both by knockouts. Hoping to get a third, but to do that, he's got to stay off the ground. And within 16 seconds, Joey's on his back. And he's already in trouble. Do you like my real dad and leave? Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Be like Bo and just leave. Bla raspberry, Blackberry. Okay. Okay. Bo is not my real dad. <laughs> not anymore. Yo, Joey's in trouble, man. He has to survive four and a half minutes. He's got to survive for <laughs> He's got to survive four and a half minutes with the submission machine Peter Griffin on top of him. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. I know Nick. I know you work next. Joey's got to find a way to get up. He's not, I thought for sure. Well, maybe Rich doesn't want to like, admit to it. Oh, maybe. Maybe, bro. Always oh, trying for an arm triangle. List, wrist locked, but he's not chest down. Oh, he switched to new rear naked choke. Oh, but he gets out of it. I think Peter took the cut seriously. Uh -huh. 11 and 1, Peter Griffin. All but three of his wins are by submission. Eight submissions out of his 11 victories. You don't want to be on the ground with the gentleman from Kohog. Flattens out Joey. Joey rolls back into full mount, though. Still trying to get up. Peter ain't having any of that shit. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right. Keep dodging, though. Keep dodging. Give herself a shot. Lands the grounded pound strike here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. But Man, I was happy. Watch as he Still can't get up. With the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just can't even get in a half, either. And and Can Joey survive 30 more seconds and at least somehow get to round two? Somehow. Okay. Locked about three of those. At least he's still playing defense. But he is in a horrible position here. But he survives. Five minutes, practically, of ground time. Absolutely a 10-8 round for Peter Griffin. They need to change UFC to where you start the next round where you ended the previous. Ernest Anderson, <laughs> how terrible would that be? Wrestlers would just dominate. Oh, I came in an odd time. Yes, you did, Visual. Yes, you did. Joey Smoke is uh, a little bit of struggle busting. A little bit of struggle busting, you know? Five minutes, he does eight on the ground. Straight right is there. He's got to sprawl. He's got to have good takedown defense. Because on his feet, he's got a shot, but he's got to stay off the fucking ground. For sure. Oh! Oh, he's got to stay on his feet. And he does. And he does. That's good. With the jab. Joey knows the only chance he has is to be aggressive, walk him down, that jab now throw a high volume, but he cannot get taken down. Oh, but he eats an uppercut. He got a little too close. Peter Griffin stunned him and kicked him in the side of the head. Peter Griffin is literally doing what he wants to do at will right now. At will. the shot there. Griffin is a bully? I'm saying, dude. I'm saying he is. And, okay. Joey's doing a much better job not, not allowing this fight to go to the ground. Checks that leg kick, though. That, 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 that looked like it hurt a little bit. A little bit of hurty hurt. 
Oh, now he's getting his ass kicked in the clinch. Oh, my gosh. Do something, Joey. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Like that meme where someone has a stick and they poke you with it. Do something. Another stuff takedown. Much better this round. But outside of that, not a lot of offense, though. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I just realized that I don't think he's here, so. I forgot what the, um, the thing was. That meme was my life during the playoffs. <laughs> oh, it was actually Showtime with a win. It was Knockout. It was Round Two and it was 459. Got it. Fucking got it, bro. Still no takedowns for Peter in round two. Joey's doing a better job. Don't think he's done enough to win the round, though, because he is getting kicked. He is getting hit. Taking a lot of damage. Who I am. Cerebral, 10 seconds left. Are we going to have a very... And gets the takedown. However, I'm not sure if that counts because the horn technically had sounded. So I don't know. Statistically, God, December 15th, Packer Seahawks, scene of the crime. I saw that. You ready to fight? You ready? Yep, I, I saw that, man. The NFL schedule is out. And that's not what you wanted to have happen at the start of round three if you're Joey Smoke. He's already losing the fight. He avoids takedown in round two and then gets it in round three. Prime Sox, get it off the mat. Yeah. Yeah. Get Nos on the mat, baby. I love Nos. I think I'm switching back from Red Bull to Nos. The Nos Zero Sugar. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know why, dude. I fucking love it. Oh, Joey's in trouble. Is Joey's nickname doesn't want this? Yeah. It's Joey. I don't want any of the smoke. Oh, no. This is it. This is it. This is it. Peter Griffin has had enough. Stands over. Joey, I want none of the smoke. And ends the fight in round three with some brutal... Ground and pound. Ends the potential title opportunity for Joey Smoke. And Peter Griffin continues to use his aggression of losing the title to work his way back up to. I'm Red Bull, man. I used to be. Like, a month ago. But Red Bull Zero Sugar, it, it just... It, it's it, it's just gentlemen, so expensive, dude, for not not a lot. Is called a stop to this contest. I don't like it. Forty-eight seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by TKO. Peter Griffin. He will improve to twelve and one. He will improve to twelve and one. Visual. What happened with Joey Smoke at MLB? Did you already watch the cap recap today? 1919, jo Joey Smoke did win round two. They did win round two. But round three, Peter took him down, stood over him, and wanted to go home. Peter Griffin, 74 strikes, 36 of them significant, six minutes of control time. He will improve to 12 and one. And continue to try to prove that losing his title was a goddamn fluke. To the Bantam Weight Division for the first time tonight. And it is going to be two fighters. 
it is going to be two fighters looking for their first win. Both lost fairly early in the Bantamweight tournament last week. One of them will get on the winning track tonight. Number five, Prisney. Number eight, Chuck McBamferson. I don't know, bro. Um, let me ban you and unban you. All right, now for the particular time you out and untime you out. Uh, ban. Unban. Time out. Untime out. If that doesn't work, bro, I don't know. You're going to have to keep closing stuff. Um, but I, I banned you and unbanned you and then timed you out and untimed you out. So if it still doesn't work, are you going to tell me, like, is it grayed out and it says you can't send messages in this chat or what? Straight punch. Useful. I don't, I don't know why you couldn't. That one landed. Yep. And there he goes, lands yeah, that's good advice from Rich. So good take a, take a screenshot of what it says when you try. And put it in. Big Bamperson on the right, Prisney on the left. As, as we continue the fights here and try to figure out the yeah. issue with Twitch. Oh, they've rotated now. Big is on your left, so you're just trying to fuck the fuck. With just trying to mess with y'all, dude. Oh, a left from Bell, and then a kick, and Nick Bamperson is in trouble early. Praise wants him to get back up for the record. You can call your shit talk. I did not ban you guys. Not ban. Dude, Bamperson is in trouble. Oh, there's a big left. Okay, 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 okay. Under three minutes now. Okay, okay. And he's hit again. Jesus Christ! Spun around, face down. His right arm was broken. But they still didn't call it. Jesus Christ, McBamperson. It shows nothing. It's normal, but I can't type. Yeah, but when you hit enter, what does it say? Like, does it give you an error? Or does it not show up? Does it say you can't type in this chat? Like, what does it, what does it say? Or does it say nothing, and you just hit enter, and nothing pops up? We have to know. <laughs> we have to know what what specifically is, because each one means something different. Yo, how is McBamp not dead? His whole yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. His whole body twisted. He fell on his face, and then his right arm was trapped up under his body, and then he's been knocked down 19 times. I don't. This is it. This is it. This is it. He's done. Prisney just absolutely fucking demolished McBamper's. Demolished him, and I did make slider changes. I did make slider changes. Banff just got absolutely obliterated. I mean, the other the first two fights went the, practically went around three. He should have been here on Tuesday. Hey, my points, my two points is goddamn. <laughs> uh, Prisney with a huge victory and a quick one. As McBamferson gets absolutely annihilated. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the King! Riz Judges were looking at their phones. It's okay, we don't need the scorecards. McBamf banged Herb Dean's wife, making sure he gets his. Yeah. Damn straight. Damn straight. Prisney. 346 of round number one. Gets the big TKO. Dude, look at those fucking shots. 33 total strikes landed. 25 of them were significant in three and a half minutes. Jesus Christ. Christ. Everything he landed and threw were practically significant. That's why you see the five knockdowns. Fucking obliterated him. Jesus Christ. Prisney gets his first win. Chuck McBamferson continues to figure out what the hell just happened with back-to-back first-round losses to start his career. Debut number one 
of the week. We have a second debut later, but this fight is all about the debuting Austin Ritchie. He will ease his way into the WF, uh, WCFC and will take on number seven, one of our worst. Yikes. Two and 13, Chuck Norris. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Da, na, 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 na. One inch All right, now for, the for our Austin or Richie and height. I like the idea of this. I do something similar to WWE. Dude, Rubik's, if I had time, I would Great love fight. to do a WWE Ready. version of this. I just don't have time. Here I fucking go. love it. Mm -hmm. WWE universes and shit is, Opens up with are so game. fun. Especially when it's consistent. Oh, it's a fucking blast. I wish I had time to do both. I just... We started at what twenty? Yeah, we started at twenty-five fighters in five divisions. We used twenty-five real fighters to make it fifty total, like Conor McGregor and Islam Makhachev, and, and now we're up to seventy-two or seventy-three um, creative fighters, and we don't use any real fighters anymore. Yep, every single fighter in this division or in this in this universe is all. Create fighters. No more real. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Nicely done. Oh. The right there from Austin Ritchie. Trying to make his debut and make a stance. Losing to Chuck Norris would be the opposite way. <laughs> would be the opposite. Just over three minutes to go round one. Chuck Norris has only won two fights in his career. One against Antion Roussel, who is now retired, and the other is Billy Down. Do you do things like fight night cards that lead up to big pay per view shows like W? So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do fight night cards. And on Saturdays, we have our WCFC. Everybody only fights once a week, though. So you could be on the Tuesday card or you could be on the Saturday card. The Saturday card, we try to make like the most banger fights. Like, we have three title shots on Saturday. We, have, we, we try to have like our higher ranked fighters on Saturday. So yeah, but we do three. Tuesdays and Thursdays are fight night cards, and then WCFC is on Saturday. Yep, yep. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but nah, 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 he's not nah. discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, Sad from a guy who isn't sub time either. <laughs> Rubix! Right now, you can see him Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. I love all the questions, man. Keep them coming. And if you did want to join, we are trying to fill our flyweight division. We have not started our flyweight yet. It's the final division that we need to get going. And then we have all eight men's division. If you ever want to jump in, it's exclamation point WCFC in the chat. Eat a D-back cat. Y'all are playing my team. So I'm actually a Mariner fan. I just think this hat is dope as shit. So I got it. I like the D-backs though, but I'm a Mariner fan. But this hat's just dope as shit. Like, come on, are you kidding me? Round two straight ahead. Look at that shit. It's awesome. Well, how's that for a five minute performance? That's fucking awesome. I'm a sad Tigers fan. Sordigilus is a Tigers fan here too. The co commish of the WCFC. Sordigilus is also a Tigers fan. There y'all go. Yeah, yeah. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Round two. I kind of feel like Chuck Norris has this so far. We lost to the fucking Marlins. In Miami, though? Alright, Austin, keep your block up and counter escapes. Yeah. C Coach Austin Richie. I like it. I got you, Rich. Nope, at home. Yeah. <laughs> Did you lose the series or just the game? Because the game was okay, it's baseball. But as long as you win the series. Or at least split a four. Right. <clears throat> Richard Trader reports Seth Nats fan will receive a heavyweight title shot next week. Oh shit! Lost the series. Ooh. Well, at times he's trying. Oh, to big overhand right. He has not been effective in doing Swing so. and a miss from Richie. That's right, man. It's baseball, you know. 
Sometimes the shittier team gets the wins. That's a big sign when you watch. That's why it's hard to win 100 games. The fighter never really wants to give you. Oh, oh, the big overhand right. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So Out of fucking nowhere. Huge win for that young fighter here. And Austin Richie will win his debut over a retiring Chuck Norris. Holy shit, I thought Chuck Norris had that fight. He at least had... I think he lost round one, and honestly, that shit came out of fucking nowhere. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Good lord. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds. Look at Chuck's face. Two, looks legit. Austin Richie. Oh, Don't doubt the Richies. Oh no! What a fucking debut from Austin Richie. We'll check the scorecard. Prime example of the takeover. Oh no! So it begins. Judge's scorecard. Nope. Austin Richie got round one, so he was already ahead. Looking at round one, he did land the more strikes, the more significant, and he stunned Chuck Norris four times so clearly i wasn't fucking paying attention because i was talking but austin ritchie clearly run round one a minute and 42 seconds into round two absolutely threw a big fucking overhand right and lights fucking out for chuck norris he drops to two and 14 and he hopefully will be retired soon austin ritchie comes in hot and puts the welterweight division on notice. To the middleweight division for the first time today. And it'll be the number three ranked middleweight, Sammy. Finish the story, Rhodes. Taking on number seven, four and ten, Jackie Legs. <laughs> One inch of height and reach for the Aussie. With the official Over Sammy, the finish the story road, baby. Here's Bruce Buffer. No, Bruce, I don't want to hear you talk. I'm sorry. You ready to fight? Ready. Right. Yeah, we're at 73 of 80 fighters, actually. I should change that. This has become a very special building and destination. There we go. Hey, Wes, you weren't expecting that? No, dude, no, fuck no. I, I honestly thought you were losing the fight. And it fucking came out of nowhere, dog. That's the that's the best part about this shit, and like the way that I do the sliders for AI versus AI is there's less grappling, there's less, there's um, there, there's less like this shit for 15 minutes. Sometimes it's cool, but I crank up the damage and the the the, the, the strike frequency for a reason because the knockouts are more fucking fun. Oh, I have a chicken parm. Yo, that's fucking um, incredible. That's why I didn't beat on Sammy, because I'm not a fucking Cody Crab, baby. <laughs> he is uh, the, the real Sammy. He's actually a streamer. He streams a lot of the MLB The Show and uh, some other random stuff. Um, he is a big Roman hater. He loved when Cody won. Simply because Roman was just a, a, a part-time champion. Yeah. Don't doubt us, Richie. I don't anymore. I don't anymore. Yeah, we are. We're 73 of 80. Full in this universe. Just so you guys know. Just so you guys know. Just so you guys know my plan going forward. I am going to fill the flyweight division. Then I'm going to open up some spots in other divisions and get some of these really fighters that have not been around for a while and get them ground. out. Um, and then after that, we are going to expand each division to 12 fighters. That's the long-term plan. Step by step by step, but eventually we're going to eight divisions, 12 fighters each. But we got to do step one first. Phil Flyway. Phil Flyway. Sammy on top here in the north-south position. Not not a comfortable place for Jackie with his dick in his face. But, you know, it is what it is. 
just want to go fast. Sammy's beating the fuck out of him. Oh my god, Jackie Legs is in trouble. This is it. This is it. Oh, how did he not call the fight? Holy fuck. How is this fight not called? And right into side control. Oh, I see what's up. Okay. I was really confused how there was only one pick I'm done, but I I forgot that I didn't do the first two fights. Because it wouldn't fit. Seconds winding down in the open Cody won't be chapped long the true champ. Dude, I, I love Gunther. I hope. First round over. I hope. Uh, did Elia beat Jay? Or did the, the other semifinal not happen? Because I would love to see Dragunov versus Gunther. I think that fucking thing would be fire. But I don't know if they want Dragunov to beat Jay. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it makes sense. I mean,. They're still trying to push Jay. How can you have Dragunov come in and win? I mean, it would have been nice. I kind of assumed that they would have some sort of interference. Because then it would sit, it would still make Jay look strong. It would give us Dragunov and Gunther. And then Jay could fucking feud with whoever fucking wins. That's what I was thinking and hoping would happen. But I knew it wasn't guaranteed. So, but I... I I do think I do think that they're gonna have Gunther and Dragonoff fight. I think it's just a matter of time. Elio will fight Gunther at Bash. That makes sense. I thought the same about the interference. Yeah. You're talking about WWE? Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a giant WWE fan. Like I don't sit and watch Raw and SmackDown every week. I just kind of pay attention. Like uh, uh, there's a TikTok account that I watch that just constantly does the highlights and so i just scroll tiktok at night after a fight after a show and it shows all the important shit but i don't like sit and watch it oh jackie taking sammy down maybe maybe not the smartest thing to do you don't want to take down the wrestler i must have been to 77 live shows and i've never been to a live show I've never been to a live show. I'm contemplating going to uh, a Wrestle Dream for AEW. I'm not the biggest AEW fan, but I've heard that it could be Daniel Bryan's last real big match in his home state. And I live in the area, so it might be a cool thing to go to, even though I'm not the biggest AEW fan. I think it'd be cool to kind of be. But I don't know. We'll see. Massive shot from the top. I don't know. We'll see. Another strike gets through from the AW. Top yeah, I'm not the biggest AEW fan, but I like I like Brian Danielson. I like Daniel Bryan. I mean, he's from the area, so I think the crowd would be hyped. Every time he comes home to Washington, the crowd just loses their fucking mind. Especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. It's Minute and 15 left. Sammy is in complete control of this. He's a wrestler, so he is on the ground. Doing well. I got action figures. I don't have anything like that. When I was younger, I might have. Like, my stepdad... Like, before I even knew WWE was a thing, I used to watch WCW a lot. Like, back in, like, the... the end, like, the NWO Sting days and... That was my first foray into wrestling. It was WCW with my stepdad. Back when it was like fucking hype. 20 seconds to go round two. You're 12, you have dolls. I just like Wii. <laughs> I like Wii, bro. Yeah, I like I like piss too. Don't kink shame. Don't kink shame. If you like Wii, I mean that's there's a whole category on Pornhub for that. I'm just saying. So much of thing SmackDown will be at the Client Pledge Arena. Oh, yeah. You're right. Dude, I just hate where that arena is. Right, the, the area that that key arena, which is now Climate right, Pledge, was at, right. it's such a fucking hassle to get there. I hate it. I don't like going to Seattle anyway, especially downtown. But even double especially where fucking Climate Pledge Fucking shit. That area is a nightmare. It's like one or two lane roads. And it's nowhere near a freeway. Down goes Jackie. But it's not a bad idea, Rick Rubik's. I just, it's one of the reasons I've never been to a cracking game here. 
Otherwise, the 16th, they will be important for Raw. Mm. Can't take the train. Nah, the train doesn't go to uh, that side. No. And it's and it's a weekday, so any sort of public transportation is gonna be a fucking nightmare during the week around rush hour. Fuck. And I live west or east, so I live like 45 minutes from Seattle with medium traffic. With no traffic, like 25 minutes, it's cool. But like with full traffic, fuck, dude, it takes so long. My guy's ass if he wins ever again, I'll be shocked. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you go, let me know. I'll be in the SmackDown Seattle. Hell, fuck yeah, dude. That's so far from now. Holy shit. I barely know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll be honest. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Dude, Sammy... Wait, it's just Sammy on top, right? Yeah. Sam Sammy on top is just completely dominating this fight. Outpointing Jackie Legs. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Jackie's just in a bunch of trouble here. Don't think he can match up. Don't think he can match up. Guys, remember, if you do have a pick him in, you can, uh, you can um, follow along. And Sorta is also updating the pick him throughout the night, too. So I take half a year off and just travel and go to the perks of being an engineer. God damn, Rubix. God damn, brother. A minute 15. Can Jackie Legs take this to the to the judges? It's not going to matter for him. But at least he can have some sort of moral victory with it going to the judges. Forty-five seconds before the before the referee will raise the hand of Sammy Rhodes. And tomorrow's fucking Friday. Yeah. 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 Love it. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Can Jackie Leg survive? You hear the sticks. And he will. Jackie Legs, the heart of a champion. He gets annihilated, but at least he survives. And does not get finished. Again. Some sort of moral victory. Okay, a lot of replays. Again, if I skip the replays, then I'll skip the announcement. So, you have to watch this shit. Sucks, the official it decision is in. It resides with like, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. That's awesome, Rubik's. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Sammy finish the story round. 30-27. I think we all knew how that was going. But that will be the first unanimous, or first decision tonight. And only the third decision all week. All week. 110 strikes from Sammy Rhodes, but look at that. 15-minute fight, 11 minutes of control. Sammy is a wrestler, and he fucking proved it. 29 significant, two stuns, one knockdown. Just outpointed him. Just outpointed him. Grappled the fuck out of him. Sammy does what he needs to do. Gets the win, and that is his third win in a row which potentially gives Sammy Rhodes another title opportunity his third one next week the prelim main event and it is debut number two and it will be in our light weight division number eight band bow will attempt to welcome the debutante as he faces, obviously, the number nine ranked, Jaquez Smith Jr. Seth, Nets fan. Holy shit, dude. Six inches for Jaquez. Eight inches. Just getting seven of reach. Fuck. Hey, Nets fan. 
If there was a tornado, would you fucking run into it with a fucking shield and like pretend that you could beat it? Or would you go run and hide? Legit. If there was a tornado outside, would you fucking take a shield and like a, like a plastic sword and go run it? Uh, Sir Sammy was snorting coke off a of bathroom floor. Nah, dude. That's accepted. We only drug test every six months here in the WCFC. So you're free to do what you want. He's got a whole penis of reach advantage. I would get my car and run at it. Hmm. Are right, you going to half point because you're in your car? But you're still running at it. So I, my light's flickering. Yeah, no shit. If it's like EFO or one, yeah. But after like EF2, it's better to not actually do that. Oh, car? Yeah. Yeah, because it can fucking take you up. I haven't checked, but according to Twitter, the Otani bobbleheads are listed. Jesus Christ. That's all. I guarantee that's the only reason why half the people. Nah, how much I have a tank into it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Ban Bo on your left here. Toxic Predator. Ja Jaquez Smith Jr. on your right. Richard Trader confirms Coke is not tested for. Oh, only semen. Oh, okay. Guys, it's only jizz that gets uh, tested for. So be careful of that. If you just believe the tornadoes aren't real and made up by the government, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's just an illusion, right? I don't actually fight an EF2 with a plastic sword and shield. That don't count. No car, no shelter is a plastic Walmart shield. It's full of grape jelly. Then <laughs> shoot it. Oh my god. Maybe a real sword? Alright, that makes more sense. If it's the middle of the night and the only light I have is lightning, I'm taking cover. Alright. Mm. Alright. I, I suppose. Fuck, I haven't got strawberry jam. Uh, you're, you're fucked. It's grape jelly or fucking Marion berry. If you have strawberry jelly. Yeah, so I was like 10, 15 minutes. Hey, what's up, Ito? Don't be a pussy, Nets fan. Lighting covers for pussies. <laughs> hey, Tim Ito, you are 3-0 and on uh, Pick'em so far. Oh, huge elbow from Bampo. I'm going to cover my nuts in peanut butter and charge it in cock first. <laughs> you guys are fucking wild tonight, bro. Oh, my God. I make jam. Shoot I think you meant shootout. Shootout high testosterone. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are fucking wild. Tonight, bro. I found out why people are going nuts for him. I just went through a pick. Ah, oh, well, you're fucking through it now, though. We'll see if we'll see if it ends up lasting. But you're only one of two. And around one. Uh, 40k giveaway, but only so 1,700 of them were made. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did read that, and they were at random. And they were at random, too. So 1,700 of the 40k are going to be like It's like a one-pan phalanx where you go peace in second. Why were the people in the Twin Towers upset because they ordered pepperoni and pizza and all they got was playing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Still alive. That's good, Austin. <laughs> God damn, bro. Oh, fuck. Now a kick to the body. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. Checks that leg kick. See if Pete Davidson can joke about it. Whether you like or hate Pete Davidson, it doesn't matter. If he can joke about 9 11, gotta keep the humor, you know? Jaquez stuns Banbo. Good left there. I could say a worse joke, but I won't say it. Hey, welcome to chat, bro. He gets to the single call time. Put him to drive and move his Bam Bambo trying for a takedown. Does not work. Holy fuck. You just copy and paste it. Shit. How dare you copy and paste and shit. Uh, so she says I can throws her in the ocean. Like the and well, I guess you're fucked now. <laughs> I mean, you know, someone was probably right, earning a promotion that throw away and suddenly rapidly no longer. It's like, uh huh. Yup. Nope. He's very the they were doing something, they weren't doing it much longer. 
Van Bo's on top, working at Jack West Smith here. Did you know some man having a terrible time? Walked over his wife and asked why he's a bone, and his wife said my husband is blind. <laughs> he's doing between a sausage, a sausage pizza, and an adult Jewish shoulder. Pizza didn't scream. When it oh my God! Oh my God! I watched an office and seen a sweat print of some. Uh, I could probably pick yours out of the lineup, though, Doug Cole. <sighs> Jack West gets back up. Back up he goes. Minute and ten left. Oh, the front kick knocks down Bambo. Jack West going in for some ground pound, but he's able to stand up. Bambo is a hoe. That's toxic. This is gargantuan. It's the most obvious, and it would be drenched. That's what I'm saying. I could pick yours out of a lineup. The reasons why I could pick it out is irrelevant. There's no way to do it. Jambo with an, another takedown. 30 seconds to go. Still alive. Dude, imagine if, if Richie just stopped saying he's still alive. For like a half hour. And we just presume he's dead. You ever seen your old asshole? Um... Uh, I mean, I can't really see it when I'm inside, but I mean, Good maybe. Right, Round two comes to an end. Why do people put gun safes on the second floor because Biden can't wait to say That's why mom named him Bambo instead of Joe Dirt. <laughs> Dude, Joe Dirt was my first ever rock 15 years ago. I'm just saying, never send a people die without seeing their own asshole. That's a terrible fucking statistic, man. If you're one of those 90%, you, you need to rethink your life. Please DM Dark Soul and ask how how can I see my own He will tell you. Round number three here between these two lightweights. Uh, Jacquez Smith Jr. trying to make it 2-0 for the debuts tonight. Bambo standing in his way. There's various ways. There is. All you need is one way, though. I see my own asshole every weekend. It's called ex wife <laughs> Thank you, bro. I need to do this. That stuff's take them. Grab a mirror, get a colonoscopy. They will print your chocolate surface on paper for you. Roussel! You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job. What's going on, Roussel? Thank you for the sub, man. 44 months. I appreciate you. Hope your break's going well. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, dude. Very much. Brawler 6 is, is where this is going. Jacquez still on. I love that my guy is still in fucking AAA. <laughs> Pro probably won't be at the start of season 4, though. I mean, uh, uh, there's a chance, I guess, but, but I don't think. I don't think. Lands a nice punch from his back. Nice punch from his back. Ooh, Jack West trying to finish it. Why does Seattle get rid of Jared Kelnick? Um, he didn't like being here, and um, he was too much of a mental case. They, they can say, I mean, they, we can say it was because of the strikeouts, but that's not. He was too much of a mental case. He didn't really fit the clubhouse. The clubhouse was chill, a good environment. He, he's way too on edge. Like the dude strikes out once and he throws his shit and knocks everything over. It's like, dude, strike out. So he's 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 just, he's just, he's just he's a no Bro, imagine I'll chat for an hour. That's what I'm saying, Rich. If you don't chat for an hour, we just have to assume you're fucking. This is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers. A minute to go in round three. Bambo takes top position again. I have zero, zero idea where this fight's going. Zero idea. No idea what the judges think of this fight. I'm not paying enough attention. Bambo in uh, full mount, though. Full mount. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the This will be the second straight card that will go UD, though, or will go decision. And we will have to see if the debuts will go 2 0. 
but the judges must decide. Ban Bo loses by split decision. Maybe. If I, it, 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 it is going to be close. Do you see a thumbnail I sent you earlier? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I probably did, but I probably did. In regards to the stand up. He said that tonight we would be I think it looks pretty similar, I think, right? And I am just, just the background. The I agree, Ness. Is now in. It resides with Bruce Let's Bob. hear Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 30-27. Wow. For the winner by unanimous decision, Silky. Right, so Jacquez Smith Jr. Makes it 2-0 and for the debut fight. fighters. 30-27. So, so the judges thought it was an easy fight on the scorecards. Let's go take a peek for our fucking self. Um, score, yep, 30-27 across the board. Uh, the five stuns and the, the one knockdown is what did it. Three minutes of control for each of them. 109 total strikes for Banbo. But look at Jacquez Smith, 43 significant. That's what gave him the five stuns and the one knockdown. That is what the judges saw. And that is how the, the fight was scored. Two debuts, two wins as Jacquez Smith Jr. follows Austin Ritchie and begins his WCFC career 1-0. Main card now, six fights down, six banger fights left. And we will start out the main card, the main card going to the heavyweights, where the big meaty men will slap each other around again. Number seven, Fatness Everdeen. Number eight, Landon Howard. Next. Tale of the tape. For this tale of the tape. Six inches of height and six now inches of reach for Landon up. Howard against Fatness himself. Lynn Howard Adozo in our Twitch chat. Looking to go on the positive side of 500. Uh, oh, already stuns Fatness. Not even 20 seconds in. Sorted, what are you gonna what are you gonna do if Landon wins this fight, bro? Just curious. Yo, what up, Austin? I mean, what what is even the best situation to do here? I don't know if there is one. Hopefully, Burko wins? Or Spurvest, maybe? I don't know. You, you have a fucking decision to make if Fatness does not win this. <laughs> Look at your notes. And when you say fully customized, you mean by that? Uh, so you can customize his looks. So uh, literally, if you have the game, you can take screenshots. And I'll make him look exactly how you want. Or if you don't have the game, then we can just do it on stream one day. And we can take as much time and walk through. And you can make him look however. And you can already customize him the other way. That's how you created him. Um, you can make him look however you want. Completely. Can I spend 10k and customize off this character? <laughs> Maybe. But not... Yeah, like I don't want it to take two hours on stream, you know? But... As long as you have some sort of an idea, I, I can, we can take some time to make it work. Like, I know what Dozo did it. Landon Howard didn't used to look like this. You're on your right. But he has the game. So he just came up with all the colors and which face and hair and shit he wanted and just DM'd it off. Ooh, Landon with an uppercut. La la la, la for the approval. <laughs> Never throwing the same attack Ooh. more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. Oh, you changed it. It's, really? 90 seconds to go now. You got two losses in a row. Pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the This is number contender fight. Oof. What about sweater vest, though? I know he's only won two. He did have a title fight four or five weeks ago, but he's won two straight. Uh, heavyweights in shambles right now. This is Sparta. Who's it looks like Bob Ross? That's Landon Howard. That is a dozo. This turned into the number one. I guess 
a Jimmy Sweater Vest gets fucked, bro. That's what he gets for not being here. That's what he gets for not being here. Herb Dean stands him up with 23 seconds left to go. Oh! A couple good shots there from Landon. Oh, and another one. Fadness eats about three big shots here. And lands one himself. I have, I have no one knockout so far. You're probably not wrong. You are not wrong. Oh, guys. Okay. Especially to my mods, but for anybody in chat as well. This is what we need to start doing, okay? Another one. We need to start clipping banger knockouts. Not, not every fucking knockout. Banger knockouts, though. Ones that are hype. Ones that are crazy. Because every single month now... I am going to have a highlight video on Twitch or on YouTube highlighting our knockouts of the month. Maybe a top five, maybe a top ten, but I'm going to start doing that every month. Um, so mods, anybody that can clip or knows how to clip, if there's a banger knockout, clip it. Because I'm going to start using that in our monthly highlight videos on YouTube because I think that'll be fucking awesome. Don't know if it'll start for May because we're kind of starting it late with clips, so we might have to wait till for the June fights and it'll go up July. But for anybody that's here, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, rock and roll. We'll get clips. I'll rank them. Jimmy looks like that's what I thought too, but because it's been it's been four weeks, um, and he's going too straight. S simply because. There's no loss. That's to be honest. But you're the one that's side sword. I don't overrule you unless I have a huge reason not to, and that's not a huge reason. So. Oh, fuck the Dodgers. Do both. Uh, maybe. I mean, if we can get enough clips over the next couple weeks, then I will do one for them. But. Oh, shit. Can you do like a top 10 moments? Uh, pr probably. I will rank them, and I'll probably do like a Sports Center top 10. So we'll gather the clips and then I'll rank them and then I'll make a little. Right, so you should do for fights too. Oh, oh, what do you mean? Like the top 10 fights? That would be a little more difficult. I think that would take longer too. Because we'd have to clip the whole fight or like keep track throughout the whole month of banger fights. I think that'd be a lot harder. I mean, I'm open to it, but I think that'd be a lot more work. Stun fatness again. Landon Howard. At the at the very least, I want to do top 10 knockouts. At you know? And I, I will... Okay, I can work on that thumbnail later and I can try to make you like a number. So. Yeah, I will probably... Yeah, a thumbnail for it. Like, and we'll use kind of the same thumbnail because we'll change, we'll just change the move. Uh, but some sort of top 10 knockout. Oh, huge uppercut. Down goes Fatness. Landon Howard trying to finish the fight. Oh, and he stopped throwing hammer fists. He stopped throwing them. Fatness might survive to round three. Um, yeah, be, is he going to be a top 10? I will probably commentate them. So the video, I will probably cut off the audio from the, the fights, like from the clips. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I will test them both, and I'll see if I'm going to cut off the audio and just commentate over the video or use my real reaction. Um the only thing is that if my real reaction's delayed or it doesn't look as good, I don't want to use it. And I don't want to mix and match. So. Oh, a right into a left. Landon Howard throws a left as he's falling to the ground. He almost knocks him out at the end of round two. And he handles business at the start of round three. Superman right. Fatness is already out, but he lands another left. As Everdeen falls to the ground. Landon Howard with a huge win. 
You need a loan? <laughs> Fourth prediction I lost in a row, rip. Look at Landon Howard. That should happen to me two weeks ago. Uh-huh. It did. It did, bro. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called yeah, this awesome. contest at 19 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by Knockout Landon Howard. Landon Howard. I bet my house on fatness. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. That was probably a mistake. 19 seconds of round number three. Look at the judges' scorecard. And this fight was dominated by Landon Howard. Could have finished it in round two. Ended up wanting to push it around three just for funsies. 79 strikes, 44 of them significant. We really didn't go to the ground at all. Four stuns and three knockdowns. Landon Howard was just a better fighter. And after starting 2-0, Landon ends his two-fight losing streak. Gets back in the green and back on the positive side of 500. Next up on the main card, we will move back to welterweights. And it'll be two fighters, both with five professional fights under their belts. Number four, ranked three and two, McCool Fryer. Number six, one and four in his MMA career, Dele Dele. I was cooking salmonella with my predictions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, bro. Yo, I got to piss after this fight. Alright. Here we go. We're working our way through the main card here. One of four is elite. I'm saying. What's up, heavyweight champ? What's up, heavyweight champ? How you doing? Three inches of height and reach for Dilly Daddy. You are our main event on Saturday, Slicky Baby. Main event on Saturday. And you are our current number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So, just saying. Just saying. Fryer already with a takedown, 20 seconds in. Two default AI styles here, though. I've not been able to handle or get a hold of either of these. Eventually, if I can't get a hold of people, I'm, I'm going to start replacing all these defaults, too. So I don't care how new they are. If they won't fill stuff out, I'm going to start replacing them. Take what you want from me. Salmonella is the same thing. <laughs> Friar on top here. Take what you I fucking two and two and pick them. I did pick him just for fun this week because I wanted another person. Oh, that is a high now potentially working on a submission and still already a submission attempt for Fryer. Can he get Dilly Dally to tap out two minutes in? Chest has got to go down. Those wrists have got to get locked. Wrists are locked. Chest is down. And he's gonna get out of it. Saturday, shoot me DM if I'm not in chat. I'm pretty busy. We'll try. To... Yeah, I got you, buddy. Uh, DM in, in uh, Discord or DM. But you're the main event, so my guess is you're gonna be like nine to nine thirty our time. Cause you're you're, you're Pacific. I clear saw tap. Yeah, it's a stupid animation they do here, man. Whenever it's the arm triangle like that, they'll fake tap, and if they kick their legs out, it means they're gonna get out. I don't. Fuck. I don't like it. Dilly Dally gets the tap or gets the the reversal here. <laughs> it's Twitter. It'll always be Twitter, my guy. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Yep. Main events on Saturday, like 9 or 9.30 Pacific. Mr. Mr. Main Event, Mr. Number One, Mr. Heavyweight Champ. Winners of seven straight. Somebody's got to beat Slick. Slick, you did the form, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll hit you up on ICQ. Yo, 198, 1902. Get me on ICQ. 198, 1902. Is that my ICQ number? You fucking right it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Almost 30 years ago, bro. I still remember that. God damn. I will never. Oh, shit. He got Dilly Dally in at this. And there it is. Holy shit. Freyer gets it in again. 
this time Dilly Dally does not does not get out of it. I don't think Shire Swank gonna hey, it's all good, Richie. Dude, how many first round subs do we see? Not very often. McCool Frayer taps out Dilly Dally with an arm triangle in the first round. He flattens himself out, chest down, and that locks it in. We do not see first round submissions very often. He never rushes. He takes his time. But it's tricky that is insane. It's McCool is my father. Yo, that's wow. Shut up, Game of Thrones. Oh, Christ. Bro. 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 It's his fourth win, McCool Freyer. Has won four of his last fights. The only loss he has was against the former champion, Toktasinov. So he is on a roll. Four minutes and 17 seconds of round number one. 23 strikes, but two minutes of control. He almost got him to tap out in the first. No, the first attempt and got it in the second on uh, uh, the second attempt one of the very few first round submissions that we see but we love to see the variety dilly dally drops another fight he is one in five mccool gets win number four to the heavyweight division we go again this will be the final time tonight that we will see the big meaty men slapping each other and it will be one of the OGs in the division. Eight and eight. Donald Burgo. Taking on one of the newcomers. Three and oh. But lost his championship opportunity last week to Slick Baker. Looking to work his way back. Number four. Three and one. Yurik Hunt. Womp womp. Of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three inches of height for the Englishman. Yurik Hunt Here is Bruce Buffer. against Donald Burgo, eight and eight. You ready to fight? Ready. Eight and eight. Oh, well, there is something uh, undeniably uh, intoxicating. We're also keeping like a legit over, complete overall leaderboard of pickups too, so people can see. I picked Hunt here, so good win, Burgo. Not all that long ago in 2021. Yeah, it hasn't been. He's We got to find a way to extend that too. Oh, I think you said you, you know how to do that, sort of. On the overall, the very bottom with the green highlights. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. I told you you've gotten to it. Yes. Oh, Burgo knocked his ass down. I'm not super worried about it right now. So one minute into this fight, hates me, hates me. Absolutely crazy. Back and forth. Uh, do we only have two knockouts so, so far on the card? One, two. Oh, we have three. Landon's, Landon's was a knockout, too. We have three. Burgo. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, huge right from Hunt. And Burgo. Oh, my gosh. Yurik Cunt. I keep saying Yurik Yura Cunt, but it's Yurik Hunt. When you say it quick, it doesn't make sense. Or it makes it easier, but when you slow it down, I'm saying it wrong. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Big left hand. Big left hand. Virgo is getting cunted. He is, dude. He fucking is. I'm going to. Yes. All right, now two just so it's done. Hates me, hates me. Dude, we have a submission. We have two unanimous decisions so far. This is a good mix tonight. I like this. I did change the sliders around a little bit, so that's why we're seeing a little bit more uh, variety, I guess. So. There we go. A couple power shots, but blocks. Ooh, that kick was not blocked, though. He sees him coming a mile away. We saw four, uh, three more fights after this, two of them being title shots. 
Benjamin Perez trying to take the welterweight champion away from Thiago and Nacho Libre. Trying to be 5-0 and in the Featherweights. Remember guys, there is a cap recap video that went up today, so if you're in my MLB The Show franchise, make sure you check it out. See how your guy did in year three. Wait, what the fuck? Why is this video so fucked up? Whoa. I just looked at the video that went live overnight and I never did the description. Fuck. I know I did. God damn it, Raya. I have to do that tonight then. God damn it. So the video is live and the thumbnail is there. The title is right, but I never did the fucking description. So there's no chapters for fights. I know I did. I know I did it because I remember thinking in my head this is such a short video. Fuck. After stream then. Son of a bitch. Oh! Virgo got him with a left kick. I, I heard that. Doesn't that can be added? Oh yeah, you can edit your videos whenever they're out. Sure. I just have to edit and change the description. Like, it's pretty much a copy-paste. I just have to watch the video back and do the times. Because that's how you do the chapters. You have to type the times in your description. Um, so when you... Oh, a huge right! And Hunt! Holy shit, what a knockout. Donald Burgo is out. Hunt eats a left. Burgo goes for another kick. And Hunt counters it perfectly. Lucky shot. <laughs> and Hunt, outside of a title shot, continues to be dominant as one of the biggest, meatiest of men. Slapping everybody around. Jesus. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yarek Hall. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Wow. Wow. Another knockout. Fourth on the pick'em, sixth on the night. And round two at 114. Hunt gets win number four. Judges scorecards. Burgo did get the first round. But looking at the overall, Burgo was... I wouldn't say he was dominating. Maybe in the numbers he was. A lot of strikes. But these guys' percentages were really, really low. Good defense. Blocking a lot. Four stuns and knockdowns for both. So that was even. So, Burgo was winning this fight. Even in round two, look at this. 14 strikes to six and six to four to four. Burgo was winning this fight. Hunt just got lucky. Caught him with the big right hand and lights out Burgo. Burgo drops to eight and nine. Hunt is four and one. Back to welterweight we go as we approach the championship fights. But we have one more to go and it's going to be the former... The former challenger to the championship. Number three ranked Magomed Magomedov. With a win, he would guarantee him a, a title shot next week. Standing in his way is the number five ranked Sap Alien. Loser of two straights. Looking to get back to the title himself. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight even he, even everything except for one age right, here Dagestan versus Canada I have a big shoe size you know what that means you your pecker's tiny that was the overcompensation right? your shoe size is actually seven you just wear a 12 so it looks bigger so everyone thinks that your penis is big I mean, yes. Of the, of the <laughs> uh, uh, Magomed, I think, is on your left here. These two look pretty similar. I'm pretty sure Sap Aliens on your right. It's an alpha move. If you have to say it, 
it's big, it's not. Also, if you say that it's really tiny, it's oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's all right. It's it's, it's average, below average. Count. It's probably fucking ten inches around. Yeah. Honestly, I can't tell who's on top here. I think it's Mongol Man. Sorry, don't know. Think Saps on the left here, so Mongol Man was on top. Mongol Man on the right. That's what what we're gonna play as. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Get fucked. Three minutes to go. Mongol Man loves to be on the ground. Four at five and two, including your boy. Including your boy. Imagine Ramat Donald's penis with his huge feet. This. Great job finding his shot. Four people at five and two. Richie or right Austin Richie, Elbow, Johnny Petrelli, and Jameson Stevenson. Oh, five and two. How about Grimace? Is his feet big? The same when you talk about how much sex you have, you're not having any? Yeah. Dude, I'm getting laid look every night. So you're jerking off by yourself in the light of your laptop? Okay. Cool. Got you, buddy. Two minutes left, round, round number one. Magomed doing what he does. Wait. It actually looks like Saf Alien's on top now. God damn these two. I can't fucking tell them apart. Bullshit. Saf has the beard. Like the bigger beard, I think. So I'm pretty sure he he reversed Magomed. Son of a bitch. Trying to tap out Magomedov? Nope. Reverses it. The ground and pound. Fighter does better. Now he's got his back. The hooks are in. Well, they were in for a half fucking second. A lot of top pressure being applied here. God damn, there with his man. Okay. Oh well. I do whatever it takes. What are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, 40 seconds left. Oh, he's trying to do his own. It looks like it's getting going. Booba! Yo, thank you for the raid, my guy. I appreciate you. Welcome everyone coming over from Booba Stream. You are all wonderful and beautiful people. I appreciate you, Booba, including you, my guy. It's booby time. Let's go, with my boy. I think you fight on Saturday, homie. I think you fight Saturday. You did miss the pick'em this week, though. You didn't get your pick'em in. So womp womp womp. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous Womp round. womp. Yeah, I think you fight on Saturday. Guys, if you do not know who right, Booba Time is, make sure you are tossing him a follow. He does UFC. He likes to fish. He plays a bunch of random games as well. Super entertaining guy. If you are not following Booba Time, do yourself a goddamn fucking favor. Go do it now. Fuck, I need to fight three times a week. <laughs> Wait, did I come back in time for Booby Time? You did. You came back in time for booby time, baby. Booby time is here. But what's going on, at everybody? I hope you guys enjoyed Booba stream. I appreciate you guys following him over for the raid. I'm sure you guys know me by now, but I'm West Coast 22. We do a UFC 5 AI universe. We have 74 fighters now, though. 74 creative fighters in our Twitch and YouTube community. We are trying to fill the flyweight. We are we need four more flyweights to start. So if you are interested in joining up, Booba's in the lightweight division, so you wouldn't be in his division, unfortunately. But if you want to add a fighter and become a part of this, you don't need the game. You don't need to be here. It's cool to be here, but you can watch your fights on YouTube. You can watch them on the VOD, whatever. But we're up to four flyweights. Continues to apply pressure. We almost have eight full divisions, baby. Coney and Homers. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. I wrapped into the bathroom when we got done at work, so I'm just chilling with no audio. <laughs> Fucking Tim. Tim Ito. Right. I know you just know I said your name. I love Tim. Sap Alien on top, man. He is giving Magomed all he can handle right now. This is a problem. Who is that? Who? Uh, Coney and Homers? Oh, that's the new guy. Uh, that's Rubik's. That was here earlier. It was Rubik's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, baby. 
Bad on in my face. Booby, gotta make sure you do your pick 'em every week, though. Dog, gotta get that title fight. You know? I need to know which Coney. Ooh, I think he bounced. I think he disappeared. But we will. Uh, we have to remember next time to get him. Oh my God, Magomed's in trouble. Holy fuck! I got you. I just got a tweet at you, or I got a DM. I always forget. I, I add everybody in my Discord to remind them, uh, but I don't think you're in there. And it's open from Sunday to Thursday, and then it closes. I just have to remember to DM you and do you a solid. You know? But we have like 19 pe uh, people do the pick them today, or for this week, so that's dope. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 10 seconds in round two. Yo, looks like Sap Alien is dominating. This is pretty crazy. I think Magomed's the better fighter. But I think Sap Alien's the one doing it. Although you look at Magomed's face, doesn't look like a lot of damage, but I think he's getting dominated on the ground. So holy fuck. Are all people in the Discord that are fighter? Yes, uh, they should be. They should be. I double check that all the time, and I believe so. I always, like, I just took off a few today that aren't a fighter anymore. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I uh, make them yellow. Rich don't spend them all in one place. <laughs> Sap wants some more. He does, man. He's back on top of Mongo, man. Jesus. These two have never fought, right? Uh, Mongo, man. No, these two have never fought. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Magomed has also pretty much won three straight. His only loss in those three wins was to the champion, the ex-champion. But that's not Dimito, you, uh, two fights away, buddy. Two fights away, Dimito. I say whatever it takes. Sap alien standing over him again. Yo. Tried to reverse it. Didn't happen. Magomed has only lost by a knockout. Or anything that's never been a decision. Except for uh, the former champion, Tokasano. As long as it starts post 1130, I'll be in full good mode. 1130. Oh! Magomed drops him though. I think he knows he, he needs a finish. So holding on to him here, not Although you look at Sap's face, like fuck, dude, his face is fucked up. Stuffs the take down there. How yeah. Good is his take down you're you're probably right, Timmy. So ooh, the hip toss down goes Sap. Can Magomed get a submission victory here? He, he, uh, for as much as he likes the ground and pound and wrestle, Magomedov has never had a submission victory. Never. All of his wins have been knockouts. He cut it. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed. Jeez. And eventually he got him cut. A minute and 20 left. What can Magomedov do? Maybe the judges are on crack. And maybe they have him winning. Who fucking knows? Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Who knows? Final minute of the fight. If Magomedov can somehow sneak this, though, he will be in the title next week. Sap Alien trying to end his two-fight losing streak. 30 seconds to go. Magomedov's just chilling. He, he needs to do more. That's the one thing I wish they would do a little bit differently with AIs is... Towards the end of fights, I want him to go more crazy. You know? Kind of like uh, Max Holloway and Gaethje, you know? It's crazy I mean, that just doesn't work. Nope. Like 10 seconds, just fucking throw, dude. Like, I wish just that was a thing a little more often. I think that'd be awesome. I mean, look at Sap Alien's face, though. He got fucking destroyed. Magomed just got ridden. What do the but judges the care more about? In, We're about to find out. Venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29 28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Magomedov.
Magomed Magomedov gets the 29 to 28 unanimous decision. The damage he did, the punches he threw was probably, it's probably what did it. Well, let's take a peek here. Were all the judges on the exact same level? Did they all vote the same way? And they did. Rounds one and three to Magomedov. Sap Alien took round two. Let's look at round one. Definitely Magomedov. Significant strikes, total strikes. Got the one, got the one stun, and had the more control time. Round two was Sap Alien by a lot, and round three with the knockdown and a little bit more significant strikes and the more control was Magomedov. It was a tough one. The third fight that goes to a decision. But it is Mago Medoff that will get the win. And he is your new number one contender to the welterweight division. Who will he fight? Well, we don't have to wait long because the welterweight title fight is next. The co-main event of the evening. And it's one of the highly anticipated welterweight showdowns. The champion just got his belt back last week from Tamur Koktasinov. Tiago Suter will put it on the line against the number one ranked welterweight. Winners of three straight, Tiago, or I'm sorry, he's facing Tiago Suter, Benjamin Perez. I hope tomorrow wins his fight so I can avenge my loss. Right, here he is, the number one UFC uh, Tamor, never fought for the title before. Tamor won on Tuesday. He's probably going to have to win another fight or two to get back to the title. We like people to have two or three fights between titles. And between title shots, there's some parity. So he lost his title. Then he beat Tough Johnson. So he probably needs another win or two to get back to the title. Of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete so and try. Possibly, to if you and win, sure you could have Mogulman next to Then have two more, possibly. Well the this man has, possibly. But McCool Fryer. McCool Fryer is also won two straight. So if he wins his fight next week, he might win. Because that'll be three straight wins for him. So, wow. Miss Tuesday Cart. I would say go watch it on YouTube, but it's all scuffed. Because I forgot to do the description, but it is it is up on YouTube. If I lose and go 0 and 3, can I have a title fight? I'll give you some. All right, folks, here we go. All eyes are on the undisputed oh, UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to You're hear that. You're fucking breathless. He's focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. Confirmation uh, email. So yeah, I paid my bill. I'm fucking aware. You don't need to tell me. Get off my he nuts, Les Schwab. Very dangerous submission. Submission specialist. Him. Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage. Diago Suter has seven wins. Every single one of them have been. I saw the bills on auto pay and I get a text like a week later reminding me to pay the bill. Holy reach and height for Tiago Suter. Benjamin Perez here. A little, a little short stuff welterweight. Ladies Suter's and gentlemen, okay, this is Depends on who, who you picked. Depends on the 43 year old. <laughs> yeah, dude, the welterweight's starting to get fun. Richie won his first fight. Frayers won two straight. Tamor, Magomedov, Benjamin Perez, Suter, are all good. good. It's fucking solid, dude. The welterweights turn out to be in front of the Three still matter when you're on your back end pounded. Good call. The champion. The champion. The 
defending undisputed WCFC Diago Suter. 3-6-2. Mm -hmm. Me, you, and Richie. Some would say reach means everything when you're getting pounded. <laughs> I love it. Suter on the left. Benjamin Perez on your right. Again, these two have never fought before. Dude, this looks like a fucking giant ash. Just a child. This is like uh, this looks like when Sean Schlong Connery fights. Six foot or five foot two Schlong Connery. Yeah, seven wins. Don't hate, I'm just saying, bro. Seven wins for Tiago Suter, and every single one of them have been by submission. Benjamin Perez has won by TKO. He's won by submission. He's won by decision. He can get it done in multiple ways. Suter only really gets it done one way. But we knew this was going to be a grapple war. Both these fighters are grapple. Our wrestlers, our ground and pound are all on the ground. Suter's trying to pass, but Benjamin won't let him. I hope Johnny G gets his ass pounded by Bo. <laughs> Eventually, Garguno at 6-2. and two. Are you... How are you doing? Suter's already trying to tap him out with Kimura. Oh, rotates into an arm bar. Benjamin Perez is in trouble. He's got to get that. Okay. Oh, the. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got it. Oh, he gets out of it, though. Oh, my God. Two and two would hate to join the loss of Boat Club. Holy shit, though. There's only four knockouts so far. So people are doing like 18, 19. For under two minutes now to go round one. For the tiebreaker. He almost tapped, dude. Almost. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Benjamin Perez doing a great job though. Like, yes, he's on bottom, but he's he's dodging shots. And that arm bar was scary. But he's he, he he's not getting really ground and pounded. He just has to endure and get back to his feet. E either now or round two. He's in half guard though. Todd is power bottom. Whoa. I think I've proven the opposite. Now he's full mount. 35 seconds to go. He's not really doing much. Herb Dean needs to step in here. Benjamin Perez doing a great job on defense. Not giving Suter any put any space here to really do much of anything. Still not. And that's how the round's gonna end. Great defense from bottom position. Not a lot of offense from bottom. Benjamin Perez survives round one. That was more of a Bukaki guy. Whoa. Tim, I told you that in confidence, bro. I told you that in fucking confidence, and you're just spreading my shit around. Right, hey. Right. It's okay, Ness. That's what Suter does, man. He takes you down and rides you. See, but this... Oh, you reversed it, though. Huge. Gunnar Hendo, new season awards. Gunnar Henderson. We'll work on that stuff tomorrow on Friday. On Friday, tomorrow, tomorrow. Now Benjamin's on top. Don't let Suter reverse, and he does so quickly. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reverse? Oh, that's not. That's not good. He's gonna rotate this into full mount. So quickly, Tiago Suter is so good at the reversals. This sub specialist. I don't even know what his fighting style is, though. Uh, Tiago Suter. He's a jujitsu guy. He's a jujitsu guy, but subspecialists didn't start until like last week. Oh, we're going for the triangle. If Benjamin Press can get out of this, Suter's on his back. Let's see you. Uh, 
There we go. Gets out of it. Now he's inside control. What can Benjamin Perez do here with 240 left? He's got to put in some work, though. You just got to be weary. Suter is really good from his back. Passing is going to be difficult. Passing is going to be incredibly difficult here. Two big sweaty guys wrestling is my ideal for the thing. Benjamin Perez passes, and he's in full now. What can he do with it, though? Breaks in separation, drops some ground and pound here. Remember, this is a five-round fight. This is a title fight. Lands the ground and pound strike. So unless someone gets tapped out, there's not a lot of damage going on. This fight could go five five rounds of wrestle fight. Five rounds of grapple. There it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. There we go. Some good shots from Benjamin. He's getting very active now. More. He can land these strikes. We need more of that if you're a Perez's corner. That's what they'll want. Don't let yourself get reversed right, and so keep Perez throwing everything you can. There is a legitimate cut his eye. Yep, yeah, a little cut there. I've never lost a fight when I've mounted someone, probably. 60% of the time I mount somebody, I win every time. Oh, trying to trying to do an arm triangle, trying to get his own his, his own arm triangle in. Can he connect those wrists? Suter doing a good job playing defense. Can he get those? Oh, he's down chest. It's in. There's the feet though, and he's gonna get out of it, and that's how the round's gonna end. Pretty much a reversal of round number one. Benjamin Perez does much, much better. What a fight so far. I clearly felt the tap. Is that why you let go? <laughs> a great fight so far. Exactly what we thought it would be. 2-2. The Rangers dispatch of Carolina. Game six is tomorrow with the Avalanche. They're, they're going to win, and they're going to take this to Dallas game seven. I already told Russell they're going to blow a free run lead. I think Colorado is going to win game six, and then it's going to be who, who knows about seven. Rangers blew a free run lead, too. Or the, the, uh, the Hurricanes blew it. Probably one more game. Wow. Oh, damn. And there's Perez back on top. This is, like, normally grappling fights are boring. These two are not boring. Like, because both of them are so good on the ground, there can be reversal any time. There can be a tap any time. They're doing work. See, like, that was a reversal right there if it was any other fight. But Perez won't let him do it. This is actually an exciting grappling fight. I'm just glad my boy Gensel is doing good for the Kings. And now he's at home. Watching the rest of the players. There's the full mount. Perez gets it. Can he get any sort of separation here and do any sort of damage at all? Suter's doing a great job, just as Perez did, not allowing that separation. Can't do it. Once he is landing that blue Halfway through round number three. Back in the half guard. Dude, this is just the fucking chess match, dude. Who's going to blink first here? Who's going to make the first mistake? Back in the full mount. There's the separation. Perez can drop some bombs now. Lands a couple. You just got to move. Both of Suter's two losses have came as a result of a knockout. He's never been tapped. He's never been decision. Perez doing a great job so far. He's trying to pass. That's another one of the sliders that I changed down a little bit was transition speed it was way too high and people were passing way too quickly which is not realistic 
I'm not going to pass into full mount in two seconds every time. Like, Perez is struggling to pass into full mount. That's the way it should be. Yo, I've been in the bathroom for 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm the same. Dude, careful. I've fallen over before with my feet. Oh, Darce. Darce choke. Darce choke. Can he get the tap before the end of the round? Oh, no. Oh, I thought we were going to see it. But Suter survives the round. Oh, my God, bro. What a fucking fight. I never thought that there'd be an exciting grappling fight. And this has been it. We go to the championship uh, championship rounds. Presumably, two rounds to one for the challenger. Okay, little kick. Maybe Benjamin's already going to get on top. And he is already doing some damage. And he's already on top here. Eh, you fucked up, dude. <laughs> I can't be a space. <laughs> oh, I'm out of bits. Oh, shit. Sorry, Marshall. <laughs> I had to read it. Oh, <laughs> Still no reversal for Benjamin or for uh, Thiago Suter. Perez still doing the best. There's still a lot of time in this fight, though. You turned it off, you cuck. I didn't turn it off. You, you did it wrong. You did it wrong. There can't be a space between the chair and the three. It gotta be chair three, right? I didn't turn it off. You fucked up the piping. It's either slash cheer or it's just cheer. But I'm pretty sure there's no space between the cheer and the number. I could be wrong, but I think that's how it is. You fucked it up, bro. You come at me like that, Johnny Garguno. Better watch yourself. Yeah, see? <laughs> Stop acting new. <laughs> Should I bet all my champ points to myself? Hey, man, good shit. You can be better. <laughs> Halfway through round four. Suter trying to get him in the triangle choke. Perez has got to be careful. Oh, no, it's in. Oh, no. Oh, he tapped. He tapped. That is the problem with grappling with a grappler. If it was reversed... If it was reversed, Benjamin Perez would be liable to do the same thing. But Suter is that good on his back and in control. And he just proved why. What an amazing grappling fight. That's probably the most exciting grappling fight we've ever had in the history of this. Normally it's boring as fuck, that was not. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 47 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke. And still, <laughs> the undisputed UFC Walter White Champion of the World. That guy. <laughs> Ooh. Ben, or Thiago Suter taps out Benjamin Perez. That's the risk you take. With submission artists, with grapplers, they can get you anytime from anywhere. How about you, you? Fuck you, 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 Todd. Judges scorecards, we knew what it was. We knew what it was. Two judges did give Tiago Suter 10 8 in the first round. So this fight going in round four was a majority draw. 126 punches, 17 certificate. All the grappling, all the control time for both fighters. So the fight went 17 minutes and 47 seconds. Almost 14 minutes of that was control on the ground. Benjamin Perez fights an amazing fight going into round four, but he makes one mistake. And Tiago Suter capitalizes on it and gets the triangle tap. Suter with his eighth win, eighth sub. Benjamin Perez will try to work his way back, but I think already we cannot wait for Suter Perez 2.
We are here. It's been a really, really fucking amazing fight card for, for being a fight night. I gotta be honest with you. But we are at the main event of the evening. And it will be for the featherweight champion. Nacho Libre will try to defend his title for the second time. And the challenger will be the number four ranked featherweight, Tim Ito Jr. But we have some intro time, so that'll also take some time. Tim, Tim if you're in the bathroom, why don't you just... So cool. You've been in the bathroom for like 45 minutes. Are you just... Are you hiding from your dad? Just clock off. Okay, you can be in the bathroom for an hour. <laughs> Speaking of work, I need to see how long I need to work. There's Tim Ito. In the Philippines. The Philippines. Uh, I have to work a little over it. He's prepared mentally. He's prepared physically. Hours and like five minutes. Let's not be cute. He told us time and time again, I'm the next Mexican. I don't want to die. Yeah. If yeah. it Tim wins so the belt, I say we give him a hot. He has done it. Gotta now get through Nacho Libre, bro. Is he good enough to dethrone the champ? Mm. Mm. Let's go, Nacho. Who did I pick for this fight? So this is fight number ten. I picked the champion. One, two, three, four, five, six people take like this pick, in pick, professional pick, sports. The magnitude of the UFC title fight tonight. Pick? All eyes are on the undisputed UFC featherweight right. champion. You picked to add another not major not. scout to a resume that is full of big names already. Yeah, he's got a lot of big names on his resume already, but this guy doesn't seem to be slowing down. Sword and win it. AFK, he so he isn't so up there. Motivated. He'll come back on later tonight. He's a great champion. You pick Nacho or Rich? I don't really want to vote for him. No, there are six people. Oh, we're talking about the pick up to me too, on the website. When you look at this top 15 there are six on people. Paper, Toxic picked you. Big Daddy Tanner picked you. Tribal chasing, Chief picked you. Genitalia no picked you. Adozo picked you. And so did you. Look at Big Nacho. Look at Big Nacho. The sold out Eddie Hot Arena. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight champion. Three inches of height and reach for Tim. Oh, look, look at Nacho Stone. Libre, the featherweight. Does not look like a featherweight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a main event. Tim just needs to stay off his back, and it's his, but I'm afraid once it's this Instagram. It's not the personal, it's just a business. Five rounds. UFC. Dido. She's on that song with Eminem. A challenger, Tim Ito Jr. Undisputed. WCFC Nacho Libre If you really think that, I have some unfortunate news <laughs> So here we go, the main event We will go five rounds if it goes that far Tim Ito trying to pull the upset Nacho Libre trying to defend for the second time And go no. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Here we go, baby. All right, we're going to close this. Takedown defense. Going for that takedown early. Going for that takedown early. Takedown defense holds up. Right now they're separate. Timito trying to stay at range. That's what his AI style is. Way back, long range striker, stay at distance. The body there. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. 
Ooh, good couple of good shots there from Nacho. Timito's having a problem getting into the pocket here. Oh, big left from Nacho. Little Superman lands. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. That left from Nacho Libre is working wonders already. Oh, got his back. Got his back. All right. Drops his leverage and gets out of it. Superman right lands. Good counter. You can you can clearly see the strategies from these two fighters so far. Tim Ito trying to stay at distance. Poke and counter. Poke and counter. Nacho trying to stay in the pocket. Oh, huge kick. And Nacho goes down. No idea why Herb Dean stopped the fight there. What just happened? Herb Dean stopped the fight and then it kept going. What in the glitch just happened? Gets to the single time. Oh my God. Here's a good, if you want to avoid takedowns. Yep. Oh, another knockdown. Nacho's in trouble. Tim Ito. Oh, Tim said this is Nacho fight to win. Get it, get it. <laughs> oh no, but now he's down. Nacho trying to get in the triangle choke. Timito needs to hold that right leg down. And I think it's... Oh, it was in. It was in. Did not tap, though. Nacho in sight control with 10 seconds left to go in round one. Tim Ito, though, with two huge knockdowns in round one. Probably should have stayed on his feet. These damn triangles, I'm saying. Tim Ito should have stayed on his feet. Don't go down like that, because that's what the fuck happened. My heart dropped a little there. <laughs> Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, big left. Yo, Nacho's in trouble here. If he cannot take this fight to the ground, which he just did. If this fight somehow can get on the feet, Nacho is going to lose his belt. Period. Period, he's going to lose his belt. This game, this, these game plans are clear as fucking day. Ito will win if it stays on the feet. Nacho will retain if it can stay on the ground. Nothing else is going to happen in this fight. Nacho has four wins. Three of them by knockout, one by decision. He's never tapped anybody out. Yet. Not yet. This is, yeah, this is where I want to be. On his back. This is where Nacho wants to be. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. T Tim's got to find his way out of this here. All right, this position Back in the now, north south. The north south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything's trying for the triangle again. Yes, he is into the triangle again. Nacho trying to get his first submission victory. But Tim's out of it, and he has the back of Nacho now. Back to his feet, where he wants to be. Smart by Tim Ito. Get back to your feet. Get off the damn ground. Don't let him take you down. That's what Tim Ito wants. I like how to look at their hugging. Yeah. Another knockdown. And smart. Tim Ito backs up and stays off the ground. And another one. Libre's in trouble. Libre's in trouble. This could be it. But Nacho was able to defend. If Team Ito was smart, he would get back right up on his feet. But he doesn't. He gets into control. Dude, that's like four or five knockdowns. Nacho is in a huge, huge amount of trouble of getting KO'd. Oh, see, this is why you don't want to be on your. This is why you don't want to be down, Ito. Stay on your feet. He reversed it. Nacho's on top. He 
Fucked up the game plan. He's back in full mount. Now he's got good body position. Yep. Everyone who lost, it's my fault. I mean, true. I voted for him. Accuracy over time. power is death hurting me. Crazy I mean, dude, you're landing the shit. With these and here. And if you're the you just need to stop following to the ground. Defender, the stop. If you were to stay on your feet and force him to get up. Good fight so far, though. I just... I like... I like when the fights are like this, though. When it's a clear... There's a clear game plan for each fighter, you know? You know? I like it. It's now which game plan is going to be better. Tomito was doing such a good job of winning takedown at the first, but immediately got taken down the second half. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, my God. Immediately nachos down. And then he's back on top. Yo, what is this fight? He literally knocks him down, gets right back up, and takes him down. Jesus, this fight. Wow. Wow. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes Shit's really wild. Started to add up. There's another one. Wild. Now yeah, Tamizo's yeah, got four minutes of beating on his back, dude. He's got to find a way to get up. Reverse that get up, do something. And he's trying, you can tell. He's trying. Beautiful movement. Back in the full. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Into triangle. If he gets that chest down, Tomito's in trouble. Yeah, no way, Ness. He, he's either getting tapped out or Timito's going to knock him out. Back to his feet. Smart by Timito. Smart by Timito. Keep throwing. Stay off the ground. Nacho wants this fight to go back to the ground. Which game plan will be triumphant? Take down defense there from Timito. A couple knees in the clinch. A third. Oh, another left. Don't do it, Tim. Don't do it, Tim. Unless he finishes it, stand back up. No, Timito falls into the Nacho trap again. But that's like the seventh knockdown. How is Nacho still alive? Doing good damage from bottom here. Timito's making mistakes, staying on the ground here. And there it is. It happened so fast. Timito was not a grappler. Art of a lion. Timito's not a grappler. You got to stay off the ground, man. Don't follow him down. This is going to be a finish on him. <laughs> this is going to be... See? There we go. There we go. You made a mistake going to the ground. This is where this could be over. It's down. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nacho Libre goes down. You cannot go to the ground. Tim Ito had that fight. He just needed to stay on his feet. He dominated that fight seven knockdowns but that that was the thing though which game plan was going to work who was going to get it first was the knockout going to come first or was the submission going to come first with six or seven knockdowns tim ito could not get the knockout first and nacho libre gets the tap out has the official decision Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee fight, Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the third round, declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke and, and steal the undisputed WCFC champion of the world, Nacho Libre. Yo, that's that's what that fight came down to. Which was gonna happen first, the knockout or the or the tap out? Nacho Libre showed the chin of a fucking champion. Seven knockdowns, bro. He knocked his ass down seven times. One stun, forty significant strikes. I have a feeling Nacho Libre will never be knocked out. Holy shit, the chin he has. Six minutes of control. He did enough. You could tell that was Nacho's game plan. Take it to the ground. 
work your magic, and get a finish. And that's exactly what he did. Tim Ito, a valiant effort. I think I think I have a feeling Tim Ito is going to do very well in this division. And it will be a matter of time until he gets another crack at Nacho Libre. Fight Night 17 is in the books. I appreciate you checking out the video. Honestly, a pretty damn good fight card. A lot of ranked 9 and 8s with victories. Both champions retained in pretty solid comebacks. Both submission victories. Really, really good grappling fights in both of them. Honestly, it was a banger-ass fight card. Banger-ass fight card. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification so you know when my videos go live. And if you want to join this universe, we are at 74 out of 80 now, guys. We are running out of time if you want to join this universe. Go to the website and or the Google form in the description. Join up. We would love to have you. I appreciate you. We will see you for the next card.